hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ market site in Times Square. And with me today, uh, John McCammett, a uh, biotech investor. You write a newsletter. We'll talk a little bit more about that exactly. And also Richard Schumacher, uh, the CEO of Pressure Biosciences. So, Good morning. Um, let's start with uh, Richard. Tell me about you've just got a line of credit as well as an investment in the millions of dollars. What do you plan to do with that? Yeah, exciting time for us, Jane. Uh, uh, we've talked before and we know that uh, the company is growing and as we grow we need to hire some people. We've had the same nine people, nine staff for quite, a, quite some time now, about four years. So we uh, secured a two million dollar line of credit on some very, very favorable terms uh, for the shareholders of this company and that's going to be available to us uh, over the next, over the coming months as we grow. And we also announced yesterday a $610,000 initial investment in a two and a half million dollar pipe. So. Uh, between the two, we've got cash now uh, that is going to help this company grow uh, as, uh, as our sales continue to, uh, to mount. Okay. John? Uh, yeah, I'm John McCammon. I published the Medical Technology Stock Letter, and we track investments in the biotech space for 25, 30 plus years. Uh, Rick, I think I do want to come circle back to the financial questions. Maybe we'll do that in a few minutes. But I think it'd be important to, if you could give us a layman's explanation of the technology and how you guys are applying that to generate some of these revenues. We, uh, we have a technology called pressure cycling technology. In its simplest definition, we use cycles of pressure to control molecular action. What that means is every virus, every bacteria, every cell can be modified using pressure. We have an instrument and consumables, and with this instrument and consumables, we can break open cells that release all of the good stuff that we're looking for, the proteins, the lipids, the DNA. So this is a first in kind. We're the only company that I know of that uses this. We have 24 patents. Very excited about it. And this is currently being used by a number of researchers around the world who are trying to break open cells to study cancer, heart disease, uh, diseases of uh, animals and plants and, and other things. And specialize in this because we think that the potential is just so exciting. You had a uh, partnership you had last year, I believe, that you are starting to work uh, with uh, closer in the industry. Well, we signed a co-marketing agreement with Cyax. Cyax is a Danaher company. Danaher is about a seventy billion dollar life science company. Uh, Cyax is also the largest. A uh, company in the world that sells an instrument called a mass spectrometer. A mass spectrometer is an instrument, the, num the instrument of choice that people use to study proteins. Our instrument sits in front of the mass spectrometer, it sits in front of many instruments, but our so called low hanging fruit is a mass spectrometer. So, customers that are using a mass spectrometer, which we think there are about 16,000 labs around the world, they need something in front of that machine to break open the tissue, break open the cell, mm -hmm. to release the proteins that are going to be studied. That's what we do. And we, th we think we do it better, faster, and with higher quality than what's on the market. We're excited about what's going on. Uh, as, uh, as I think uh, you, you saw this morning, we filed our 10Q and we announced our third consecutive $500,000 in revenue mm -hmm. quarter. Uh, but I think more importantly is that we actually broke $500,000 in product sales alone this time, whereas before it was product sales and grants combined. So this was our, our record quarter for product sales. It was our third consecutive $500,000. And this is for a company that has, has a half a person in sales. We have nine people. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, you can only do so much, right? I mean, one person so can only do so much. But any forward-looking projections for our audience out there, Rick? What can they expect over the next three, six months? Or well, I think... Uh, one of the things I've said often, John, is that uh, this company is uh, is looking very seriously at uh, at, at upgrading to the Nasdaq, and uh, and that's a process that I think our shareholders and and investors should keep uh, keep their ears tuned to. Uh, and also, we believe that the that the sales that we have shown, which are I think dramatic for a small company with a with a half a salesperson mm -hmm. uh, and all engineers and scientists building the company. I think what's exciting is as we build out our infrastructure. Uh, I think we're going to build out the possibility uh, of uh, really increasing and ramping our sales. Okay, well, thank and good luck um, with this expansion, and um, hopefully it goes as well as uh, you, you hope that it will. So, and thank you so much, Richard Schumacher, for joining us today, the CEO of Pressure Biosciences, and also John McCammett uh, for joining us today. My pleasure, and, uh, Jane. Thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. So for more information about interesting companies uh, doing interesting things, you can go to smallcapnation.com.